I'm grateful for a church that's alive and well. You know, we've got great leadership above us that really show us the way to live life. You know, it's not just a do this, it's uh, they display it and you can see that example. I'm grateful for the people, the people who I get to look up to, the people I get to learn from. I couldn't ask for any better leaders, any better family to be able to grow up around, to be able to grow in my walk with God. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I'm really grateful for the fact that we have our whole family in church, our three married children and their children, um, all worshipping together in this church is wonderful. It's just wonderful. I'm grateful for City Impact um, because it's become a safe place, a place that as I was growing up and going through all the awkward teenage stages that you've got a place where you're protected, a place where the people around you love you no matter what, there's unconditional love. I'm grateful for the decision that Paul and I made to join City Impact Church. Because of that decision, 47 members of our family gave their life. I'm most grateful for not only that 47 family members and friends gave their life at City Impact Church, but the fact that most of them are planted and are growing in, more in Christ-likeness and they're receiving awesome teaching and they're just starting to move in, the, in their life, in every aspect of their life. I think of where we would be if somebody like Pastor Peter and Beb hadn't stayed the course. Yeah, 30 years in, I guess, in a ministry and building a church that is nationwide is, is no easy feat and has come with challenges and they've stayed the course. And I, I shudder to think where we would be as a family um, had they not been here. In fact, not just ourselves, but the thousands of people that have come to City Impact Church and as a result of them staying the course, you know, still being here and um, very, very, very grateful that um, they've got tenacity. <laughs>